Looks like you're giving the orders now, Captain. Damn right. What is up, YouTube? It's Kingfisher745, and that amazing intro and graphic are brought to you by Hayden. As far as this video, it's going to be the finale of the Special Operations 17 task list. So now we're starting with the finish of the two-day research, and that means we have the Combat Serum. But you may have noticed there's also a Refined Combat Serum. That's going to be a side quest, and we'll get to that in just a moment. First, let's take a look at task number 22. You must comply with Rusk in Mission 1. And we know that Del Rusk is actually Red Skull, so complying with him probably isn't a good thing. However, we have to for the next three tasks, so there's no other option. Just in case you don't know how to do this, there will be a split path, so you'll see these arrows. This is Mission 1, and you'll see choice 2 of 2 is the Rusk route. The other option says stick to the plan. You do not want to click that one because we're supposed to comply with Rusk. This is pretty much the setup for the next two tasks as well. Besides task 22, you should also see this side quest by now. Superior Soldier 1 of 3 says, use the combat serum in combat 7 times. So just equip the item you just researched, and then you're going to have to use it 7 times in combat. It is a quick action, but it has a cooldown. Still, at the very least, you shouldn't have a problem using it once per battle. On longer battles, you may be able to get a couple uses in. Now, after you complete this one, you'll be given a command point. And then it's time for some more difficult and tedious farming. This time you have to retrieve 15 refined serum samples. And they can be found on all bosses after choosing Rusk's route. So, in other words, far and few between. So, this is where I'm currently at. And I don't even know if I'll finish it, certainly not without winning a thousand Unstable ISO 8. But at least this one's a side quest. So anyways, back to task 22. After you finish this one, you're going to get 200 experience, and you can move on to number 23. For step 23, you have to comply with Rusk in mission 2. This will end up being the White Gorilla Grunts route. Oh, and I should note that you do have to defeat the end boss after choosing the Rusk route. So the task won't pop up completed until you finish the entire mission. Or at least the regular end boss of the mission. Now mission 2 looks like this. First there's stick to the plan. And then on the other side, you see Rusk's route. This will be a team up with Black Panther. So choose that option, and then get to and defeat the end boss taskmaster. Once you've done that, you'll move on to task number 24. Comply with Rusk in Mission 3. So this time you're going to take on the Circle of Eight. I can tell you from experience, I only chose the Arrow option, and I did not fight the mini-boss Circle of Eight member. However, I still received credit. So you only have to choose Choice 2 of 2, and you do not have to fight, I believe his name is Behemoth. The way you know you have the right route is because there's a team up with Steve Rogers and also you're fighting Circle of Eight members. After completing this route and defeating Winter Soldier, you'll get 5,000 silver and move on to the final task. The good news about this one is it comes right after this mission, so it's actually in line for once. The epic boss Red Skull is in Mission 3. And oftentimes you have to go back to another mission, so you have to run the whole thing. Instead, if you've done all the threats and all the deploys in this one, Red Skull is going to show up right after you complete Task 24. The special deploys for this one will be Fandral, Punisher, and Red Hulk. So you must have these three characters for deploy in order to make Red Skull appear. Once he does, there will be an option to either fight him as a team, or to go one-on-one -on -one Captain Steve Rogers versus the Red Skull. Later in the week when I make my Epic Boss video, I will be facing him one-on-one. -on -one. So I will be giving you tips for how to do that. But you do not have to fight him 1v1 in order to unlock Falcon. 
So depending on whether or not you want to challenge, you can just go ahead and fight him normally and you will receive credit. After defeating the Red Skull, you're given a command point and then you've recruited Falcon. So now it's just going to be time to level him. As I progress I will bring you footage of Falcon in action and at level 9 I'll be using him in PvP. So make sure you stay tuned for future videos and to make it easier just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also while you're at it please leave a like and a comment. And lastly thank you all for watching. Good luck in getting Falcon and completing Spec Ops 17.